Yo, what's going on, internet? It's your boy, B-Man, coming you guys with another video. So today, we're gonna be talking Maple Story 2, and should you be playing it? So take in mind, this is not a review, per se. This is more just so my opinions on should you be playing it or not, because I do have some time with the game. I played the closed beta, and I am have currently in Head Start, I have four level 50 characters, so I have some time on the game, and I just wanna kinda give my opinions on should you be playing. So without further ado, guys, let's dive into it. Maple Story 2 is a MRPG that is a sequel to the original Maple Story, but lore-wise, this is a prequel. The original Maple Story, which was a side-scroller, is completely replaced with this new, complete 3D world in Maple Story 2. Graphically, the game is a Vox 2 game, so it takes inspiration from games like Roblox, Minecraft, Trove, Cube World, you know, games like that. I personally, you know, play Roblox all day, so it doesn't bother me. But I know this style of graphics makes certain people hesitant to play. I do think if you give it a chance, it will grow on you. But let's talk more about the gameplay. Maple Story, which is currently in Head Start, you have access to eight characters. The Knight, Berserker, Mage, Priest, Heavy Gunner, Archer, Assassin, and Thief. Tomorrow, which is released, you will be introduced to the knife character. If you play other MMOs, then the class's name should sound very familiar. Knights are tanky, priests heal, archers shoot their arrows, yada yada, blah, blah, blah. Characters fit their name and play accordingly. So if you typically like playing something in other games, odds are you will enjoy it in this game as well. Character customization, for the most part, which is initially very basic, but you'll be glad to know that there's no like gender lock. So if you want to play a female gunner or a male assassin, whatever it is, by all means, you can play what you want to play. There aren't any races or anything like that. So if you're looking for a super in-depth character customization, you're not going to find it here. But for me personally, it, it was enough. It was enough for me to be like, okay, this is cool enough. Let me get into the game. This game is an action RPG, and while it's no Vindictus or Black Desert Online or Diablo or anything like that, I did personally enjoy the combat. Each character is equipped with a basic attack that is hotkey, and you have a full skill set at your arsenal. Each character's skill tree is equipped with roughly around four paths. You have a basic, you have a basic path, and then you have typically like three specialized paths. For example, a mage can spec into fire, ice, and lightning. Always change the way you play. I would say some paths are are better than others. For example, the mage, the fire path is the best path, but I do think all paths are viable. Now, if you're looking to put out that top DPS and you you're one of those guys or you know want to be the very best that your class can be, you will be playing a certain you know skill. You will be using a certain skill set. But if you if you're looking to enjoy the game, you can't do this. So if you want to use ice, you want to use fire, you want to use whatever path it is, by all means, you can do that. And you can still, for the most part, enjoy and still do the in-game content. Classes, for the most part, are very balanced. You can play whatever you want to play without the fear of, is, is this class good? Am I going to be able to do in-game content? You know, things of that nature. So if you want to play an assassin, you want to play a berserker, you you everything in this game is pretty much viable. Now, I will say there are certain classes that are better than others. For example, the assassin, the mage, they are they're the top DPSs. But if you want to play an archer, you want to play a berserker, you want to play whatever it is, you can do it and still get into the in-game content. You don't have to worry like, oh my gosh, if I play this class, are people going to invite me to groups? Are I going to kick from groups? Are people going to want me there? Am I going to be able to do no DPS? Stuff like that. Um, you, you, you're going to be viable. Only class I do say this is lacking, like clearly lacking is the thief class but it is getting a buff tomorrow so we'll see how that glows so when you're in some of that in-game content group content um more so towards the end you will get the holy trinity so priests are there for healing uh tanks are i mean the the knights are there for tanking you got your dps's but for the most part like i said you can play whatever class you want to play i've beat hard hard dungeons without healers without tanks for the most part you 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 have the freedom to do what type play what kind of character you want to play so find what you enjoy find what you have most fun with and play that class also the game features a dodge mechanic and uses a resource called stamina so you will be timing your dodges and timing your attacks and dodging bosses attack bosses what bosses and all enemies in general will have a big red aoe from the blocks that they take up so you will be wanting to dodge out the way i do personally like that i do not like games where it's auto dodge so personally i do like that but if you don't like games where you have to auto dodge and move from attacks then i don't really know so let's talk content guys good old pvp and pve questing and leveling in maple story 2 for the most part is very linear 
if you're one of those guys who rush to get to the end game content you're trying to get level 50 level 60 to, to do the end game content your experience is going to be super linear now if you're one of the casual people who who like to take in and enjoy the game your experience may be it's still going to be pretty straightforward but you may have like some little waves going up and down and mix it up just a little bit but for the most part is it's a very linear experience when it comes to leveling because a ma majority of your exp i say a good 95 percent of your exp is going to come from the epic quest line so epic quest line is maple story's way of introducing the story which will be very forgettable no offense to maple story too most of the story is drawn out and a lot of dialogue that you're going to be pressing spam and skip past because you really don't really care for it. You'll hear a lot of people with the thoughts and it does give you some grasp of the game, but I've beat the game four times now, or more than that actually, but in this playthrough I beat it four times and I still really don't know what's going on. Epic quest line is very linear and you will be progressing from next quest to next quest. You do this quest and you go to next quest. Questing is very very basic to the mmo scene fetch quest talk here get exp uh, find this pick up this beat this enemy and things of that nature you will begin a huge chunk of exp so if you're looking to level up fast this is the way to go it's going to give you a ton of exp and i say the epic quest line takes roughly around six to ten hours i'm just throwing you know if you're going really fast i do think you can get like six seven hours if you just pumping out grinding um if you're just kind of casually playing you're just getting there trying to look at the world and stuff like that it will take you a little bit more than the 10 hour side but it, it's not too bad you can definitely level up a character in a day you probably you can get two characters if you're really out here grinding throughout the epic quest line you will get through into like some dungeons here and there and there's a couple of different missions where for example i remember one mission you get to get into like a giant robot and that was pretty cool but for the most part the epic quest line is going to be pretty straightforward if you talk to this person fight some enemies um maybe fight a world a, a boss kind of sort of randomly not much but for the most part it's going to be very basic like just about any other mmorpg so if you're looking for some immersive story that's going to be nice and you got to be into it and voice acted and all that good stuff you, you, you're not finding it here <laughs> you better go look somewhere else because you just not find it here but the epic quest line does get you to level 50 rather quickly now for those who are not trying to immediately rush to the end game content you will know there is a breath of fresh air there's tons of mini games life skills you can go to building your houses you they got mini games pop up every 30 minutes i believe they got racing mini games and side scrolling and then quizzes which actually we actually give you xp you can play instruments you can auto click or auto play instruments you can go fish all which give you xp you can get your exploration on like guild wars 2 each each environment has like a a a binoculars that you can look through which we'll talk about a little bit more a little bit later uh as you can look through it'll give you exp and you you can get that guild wars type of exploration and get exp and it scales to your level so it changes every single time so you can get a little bit different experience but for even if for a casual player who's not trying to rush level 50 most of your exp will come from the epic quest line pvp while i currently don't have much experience which i plan to play a lot once it comes back it's currently disabled right now for some reworks but pvp is there i do know in korean maple story there is um you got 1v1s and you have 10v10s i don't think 10v10s is in global right now but it may come for release but you can be 1v1 and people giving people the work you can also invite people to your house if you have one you guys can have you know one-on-one -on -one matches there um there's also pvp zones throughout the world that you can go in there's open world pvp so pvp is there and pvp has you know gear to get and everything like that so if you enjoy pvp and you like whooping people hey it's there for you as well after you hit level 50 that's where the end game starts if you play other mmos you know that end game for most people is where the game actually starts after you hit level 50 the gear score grind begins you can run up to 10 dungeons daily and 30 dungeons weekly for a chance of scoring some new gear once you hit 2100 gear score you'll be introduced to hard dungeons hard dungeons are definitely a jump in difficulty compared to normal level 50 dungeons while they're nothing like overly challenging in my personal opinion you will need to learn the mechanics mechanics of the dungeons and certain classes will make the dungeon runs a lot easier for example if you're running the fire dragon which is probably the first hard dungeon you're going to run 
you will need, um, a, we don't want to need it, but a priest will make the dungeon run a lot easier. Or if you want a Balrog, a knight will make the, the dungeon run a lot easier. Like I said, those classes aren't needed. You can beat them without, but they do make your life a lot easier while having them. Eventually, you will get access to 10-man raids, which are currently even harder versions of the hard dungeon. I do not know the gear score or if they're going to be added on release. I personally didn't um, try the, the raids out in the closed beta i didn't get a chance to but they are 10 man 10 man dungeons and they're even harder versions of the currently hard dungeons in addition to dungeon farming you will be introduced to daily missions and a prestige system daily missions are, are pretty simple in design and will be a good way of farming in-game money which is called meso materials and exp and honestly they're not to be looked over uh, most people probably won't be doing their daily missions at first but in the, because they're so focused on getting new gear but make sure you farm those daily uh, daily missions you got to be getting tons of exp and uh, tons of money and materials to buy crafting materials and all that type of stuff and you really want to be doing those daily missions prestige system is a nice bonus grind as well prestige system is account bound account bound so any character you have over level 50 will be added into your prestige rank and it's currently up to level 100 prestige i believe and every time you prestige you get some type of reward so for whether it's meso which is the in-game money ap which is attribute points some type of customizational items there's a ton of things amount it may be a lot, it's a lot of different things and i think it's worth grinding if you look at some of the rewards you'd be like yeah okay i, I really want that i don't think they're just like afterthoughts like you know some people throw a prestige and they just kind of like afterthoughts and things you don't really look for but i do think that works it's like, like every five to ten levels you get like some type of like stat boost or not it's like like for example like i know like level 70 or something like that you, you don't get knocked off your mount when you like moving like so if an enemy hits you you don't get knocked off there's a different like different rewards but every time you level up you get like ap points like two three ap points you'll get like a, a million meso or so the, the different things are things you want to be working towards and i don't I, I feel like it's a nice added bonus keep in mind korean maple story has been out for around three to four years i believe and people are just now hitting max level prestige so like it's gonna take some time it's not something you're gonna hit quickly um but yeah it's something it's something nice to be going for so one of the nicest features i think maple story adds to the world is ugc otherwise known as user generated content if you have a creative mind you can think it and you have the photoshop skills to make it you can add it to the game for example i know two of my one of my characters is rocking a, like a full ambu outfit from naruto another character is rocking the akashi cloak he got the kisame sword and everything like that so if you can create it and if you can think it, you can create it you can sell it and you can make some nice money off this game i do think the ugc is really nice I personally have not dabbled much with it. I, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not creative, but my Photoshop skills aren't like that. And I just not, I haven't really gotten to it just yet. But if you like making clothing, designing, you, I, for example, I've seen somebody riding around with a mystery machine. You can like customize mounts, you can make head pieces. You know, there's a lot of things to make. Um, you can, this is not most of the most UGC, but you can get into like housing creation and you can make people houses design you got interior design skills you can design people houses if you hey if you're a good builder on minecraft a good builder in troll or something like that you probably can build here as well design people house makes money make content there's a lot to do with the ugc i per like i said i personally haven't really got into it and i don't really know too much in depth about it but i do know ugc is super popular and people love the ugc in this game so like i said if you like creation if you're a creative person if you like photoshop hey you, you might just get in here you might just make some stuff about people and make a little make some cash so let's talk about that cash shop guys i know you guys want to talk about a cash shop is maple story pay to win because we know how next son b next son b a a a they be having a content luckily to know guys maple story is not pay to win you do have a premium system will give you certain added a bonus for example you can travel around the map for free in a in a helicopter which which is nice um you i think you can have slightly faster movement speed i think um that's about it you do get a exp bonus to a to um mob farming you do get like 20 percent bonus but you're not getting any either any exp from mobs anyway you can mob fire mobs any all day and you get no exp anyway so that 20 percent is 20 percent to nothing it's still nothing you know so there's really no pay to win in this game the shop is filled with basically cosmetics and just a bunch of random stuff to be honest it's just a bunch of stuff you know it's not stuff you really need or 
really gonna care about it's just stuff like i spent most of my money buying clothing and stuff like that that's basically what it is so currently there's no pay to win you can't buy some things like elixirs and stuff like that but i don't really see that pay to win so there's a little bit of things you can buy that i guess give you a little bit of access some mounts you can buy help you get around a lot easier but it's most mostly things that just make your life a little bit easier but quality of life things but there's definitely no pay to win into the game so that's definitely good to hear especially coming from next because you guys know how next son be so that was good to hear there's a lot of stuff i didn't cover from life skills to the mouse to the movement system to the just looking at the world that i could go more in depth into but like i said this wasn't a review and i just wanted an overview so with all these features and with a whopping price of free i do think maple story is worth giving a chance now i'm not saying everybody's gonna like it i'm not saying you will enjoy it but should you give maple story a chance i personally you should you should give it a shot if, if any of this stuff sound interesting if you're a fan of other mmos stuff like that i do think maple story is worth giving a chance is like i said like it's free has a lot of content uh eyes not pay to win you know there's, there's a lot to it and i think you should give it a chance um otherwise that's about it for me guys hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully, hopefully you found it somewhat informative i doubt it but if you did make sure you smash the like button guys do the channel right here go and subscribe i'm gonna have more maple story content in the future and i'm gonna catch you guys later today's be your boy b main i'm signing out peace